WaterAid provides water and sanitation to some of the world's poorest communities. It's as simple as that. There is an undivided global passion that drives WaterAid and its partners towards what is a human right to have fresh, clean domestic water. The fact that we're able to focus on water and sanitation means that we have the technical expertise and we have the experience of working with local communities to find local solutions to local problems. This is Tanzania in East Africa, a country where a quarter of the population face a year-round battle for life's most basic essentials. Here in the countryside, fetching and carrying the water is women's work, involving long distances and loads of up to 20 kilos. This is where the women have to come. For the villages of Manzase in the Dodoma region, this pond provides the main water supply for most of the year. The water is stagnant and frequently contaminated with deadly bacteria. Over two million people in developing countries, most of them children, die every year from water-related diseases. Typhoid, cholera, diarrhea. They're all potential killers, but in areas where water is scarce, people have no choice. Foybe Mahembe can carry just enough water for the cooking and drinking needs of her five children as long as she refreshes herself while she's here. Water for washing, she says, is a rare luxury. She makes the five-mile trip to the pond every day and then she carries her back-breaking load all the way home. It's not just tough work, it's a daily gamble with her family's health as Foybe is all too aware. My eldest daughter has been very sick for the past two years because of our water problems here. I'm very worried about her. I've taken her to the hospital where the doctors have given her medicine, but it has not made her better. In developing countries, more than a billion people have no access to safe water, and a child dies every 15 seconds as a result. WaterAid works in 17 countries across the world. In each one, it works very closely with local partner organizations who are often the first point of contact for communities looking to solve their water problems. Today, WaterAid staff are visiting Chilolo, a community in the final phase of building their own water supply system. They're here to meet the community's water team and inspect the work that WaterAid has been supporting. WaterAid staff give crucial support and advice, but it's the community itself which plans the details of the project and provides the labor. Involving the whole community is essential to making the project work. Community involvement is absolutely vital to WaterAid's projects because otherwise they won't be sustainable. It's got to be about people working out solutions to their own problems and owning those solutions and managing them. The villagers are laying the final stretch of an eight-mile pipe network which will bring water to over 2,000 people. Like all of WaterAid's projects, women play a prominent role in the planning and building of the new supply. It is they, after all, who will benefit most from a more convenient and safer source of water. Safe water is now on tap at six points in the village. A five-mile hike for the women of Chilolo has become no more than a five-minute queue. As well as water, water aid helps communities gain access to sanitation. We're now in southern India, a different continent, but equally dangerous conditions for people condemned to a life without plumbing or sewerage. Over two-fifths of the world's population do not have somewhere safe and clean to go to the toilet. 
For the slum dwellers of Tirichapali, the toilet usually means a stretch of waste ground or the street. Human waste left like this poses a serious health risk. Bad sanitation or poor sanitation cause many more health problems than poor water. Many of the water-related diseases, in fact, are related to lack of adequate sanitation, and that means diarrhea, dysentery, cholera, and a whole range of diseases that are related to poor sanitation. In Tirichapali, Water Aid is working through its local partner, Gramalaya, to provide sanitation for the most vulnerable here. But Water Aid found that some of the children were afraid to use the toilets provided for adults because of the enclosed spaces and their fear of falling down the hole. So on a piece of common ground, they pioneered a novel solution, open-plan, child-friendly toilets. And to reinforce the health benefits that come from clean water and sanitation, Water Aid's third area of work is promoting good hygiene practices. Here, school children are learning about personal hygiene. Water Aid has found that children play a useful role in reducing the spread of diarrheal diseases by taking important messages home to family and friends about washing hands and using latrines. Every year, a small group of water aid supporters experience firsthand the daily struggle to fetch water. Here, the women of the Garango district in Burkina Faso are collecting water from a dried up riverbed. For the visitors, the reality of life without safe water is a disturbing and eye opening experience. I just can't believe that they actually use this water to drink from. I think one basic human right for everybody should be accessible water that they can get. It should be clean. Um, I mean, you can quite clearly see that the water's not clean at all here. Um, it looks dirty, it's full of silt, and that's just what you can see with your eye. You've no idea what microorganisms are living in there. Um, it's, it's just not fair that people should be living like this. But the good news is that safe water will soon be available in the Garango district thanks to new technology being developed by Water Aid. This is a rope pump. It's made from readily available local materials such as rope and recycled plastic. This simple technology enables local people to construct, manage and maintain the pump themselves, which helps keep the price down. It's just simple parts, you know, if something breaks and wears out, it can be improvised and it's been put together by people in the community. They know how to, they know how to build it, they know how to fix it. It's the way it should be, really. On average, Water Aid's projects cost £15 per head, a small price to pay for safe water, effective sanitation and hygiene education. And these essential services are the foundations for all other development, giving people better health and education and the chance to work themselves out of poverty. In the Bokan district of Burkina Faso, you can see the wider impact of Water Aid's work. Since Water Aid helped provide a safe water supply, the community has raised its sights beyond mere survival. Instead of searching for water, children are going to school and women have time to grow their own food and earn a living. I have a market garden here and with the money I earn from selling vegetables, I can pay for the school fees of my six children. I can also buy clothes for myself and my family. It's made a big difference to my life. There's a newfound optimism among the communities that Water Aid is working with in Burkina Faso. Clean water is allowing people to look forward to a happier, healthier, and more prosperous future. Water Aid has enabled millions of people to gain access to safe water and effective sanitation.
in order to help more of the world's poorest people help themselves to a better future, we need more projects like the ones featured in this program. More help to our partner organisations and more effort to influence others on the best ways to provide water and sanitation. But this will only be possible with the help of WaterAid supporters. WaterAid supporters are, are crucial to the success of, of our mission and our vision. Um, and having worked with um, many supporters very closely, it's incredible to see the, the passion that they have about our work, the enthusiasm, the commitment, often um, you know, what is developing as a lifetime commitment to the cause. We know that there are millions and millions of more people we need to reach out to and it's therefore crucial that we have the supporters with us on our path to achieving what we've set out to achieve. Ensuring that people all over the world and particularly in the poorest regions have access to safe water and sanitation.